So let's just fucking keep moving along then, I guess. What is this? I don't want to fall in. I don't know what this is. Oh, pfft, that's the side of the castle. I love that for me. Let's go talk to Denal, since apparently it was on the list to go talk to him. And that's the safest option right now, because right now, even though I do have this cheat option next to me, I'd much rather not. I'd much rather just talk to people who are nice to me. And Denal's always been nice to me. He's been a little callous. But at least he's been nice. And let's go talk to my friends because I miss them and they didn't come to the wedding with me. M Ned, why didn't Ned come to the wedding with me? Was there no option to have a plus one? Because that's completely understandable. I have a wedding to go to in October. I really hope there's a plus one. Hello? Hi, Ned. How's it going? <sighs> I'll let you get back to the party. It was great talking to you. Just what I was going to say. Bye. I don't want to talk enough, I guess. Hey, Nance. What's going on? It looks like someone has been making dolls in this hut I found on the other side of the bog. The person who ran out in front of your car. That would be my guess. Any idea who this person is? <laughs> well, I'm pretty sure it's not the missing groom. It could be someone who knows what happened to him, though. Just what I was thinking. Just watch yourself, Nan. Anybody who lives by a bog and spends their time making dolls is probably not exactly running on a full tank, if you know what I mean. You know who I want to talk to? Kyler asked me to pick some special herbs and flowers to add to her wedding bouquet. What do you mean by special? According to Irish lore, each plant is associated with something like happiness, courage, peace, love, things that would be good to have a lot of when you're getting married. What brought that on? All the strange goings on around here are starting to get to her. I think she's just doing whatever she can to keep the forces of good on her side or something. In other words, she's hedging her bets. In other words, she's losing it. She's starting to believe in silly superstitions. She's getting married. I mean, what about how a bride is supposed to wear something old, something new, something borrowed, and something blue? Would you call that a silly superstition? Yeah. It's mm -hmm. a custom, George, practiced by brides for centuries. Customs like that are what make weddings so beautiful. You're so unromantic. Damn. I always thought shoving cake into your brand new spouse's face kind of looked like fun. You're hopeless. Okay, well. That's all I got for now. Keep in touch. Later. Alan. You left in the nick of time. You've reached Alan Payne, who isn't home at the moment, which means you can either leave a message at the beep or call back. Up to you. Well, thanks. I'm gonna talk, go talk to Denal. See what he has to say about the whole thing. Hi! What's on your mind, then? What's on your mind, then? What do you know about the stone pillars with all the weird writing on them? I've never been able to make heads or tails of him. Even bought me a book on Oam runes. Waste of good money, that was. Oam runes? All those lines. Ancient Celtic symbols they are. Runes. Spell out something. I lack the time and patience to work out just what. I wouldn't mind having a go at it. Do you think I could borrow your book? Sorry to say, I'm not in a lending mood at the moment, lass. <laughs> a wee bit of me favorite drum music would put me right. But the band can't be playing it because their drummer took sick. Looking for someone to take his place, they are. I could probably fill in. I mean, not permanently, but... Go to it, then. One ditty is all. Play it well enough, and the book will be yours. Seamus will help you get started. Um? What a fine lass you are for helping out the band. Now here's what you do. Oh boy. Watch the cue. When it reaches the drum, just hit the corresponding section of the bowring with the beater. Okay. Keep doing that till the song's over. And if you've kept the beat well enough, the band will split their tips with you. They're about to start. Just watch the bar, keep your wits about you, and you'll do fine. Oh boy. Okay. Let's do it, I guess. Oops! Fuck. Ooh. 
Oops. Fuck. This is totally offbeat. Fuck me. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck! No. God damn it. Shit. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I fucked up your song. I'm sorry. No tips for you, lass. I'm sorry. That won't do, lass. No, 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 no. Let me do this again. Let me try again. I got this. I got this. I got this. I got this. Fuck. Oh, I just fucked up again. Shit. It's, it's shittier this time. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Oh no. Can I... Can I try over? Wait, I can do this? I'm doing it too fast, though. So. Ugh, sir, I'm so sorry. I fucked up the... I, I fucked this up. I'm so sorry. Are you kidding me? It's faster than before! Bruh. This is faster than before. This is really super fucked up. Also, I'm having trouble differentiating between um, the blue and the purple. I'm so, 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 so sorry. This is- You call that rhythm I really don't. That won't do, That was horrible. I am so sorry. Let me try again. That was really bad. I'm so sorry. Okay. Okay, concentrating this time. Do, do, do. Red, red. I'm loving the music though. Absolutely loving this music. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. So I just realized a, a tip. I, I didn't realize this before. That was a middling job. Nevertheless, here are your tips. No, I can do better, actually, because I just realized something. Sweet as clover to the honeybee, that was. Well... Here's the book. Keep it as long as you like. No, you'll not soon have need of it. I just literally realized... Okay, everyone who's playing this um, for the first time, um, I just noticed that, like, the beat that you have to play, it shows up a above or below or whatever, but like it, sh it indicates where you should be pointing up, down, to the left, to the right, or in the middle. And I did not notice that until literally this round. But anyway, thank you, Denal. Will you be wanting something else from me then? Your dick? No, sorry. Um, just, just enjoy your pint. I should get back to the castle. Good night to you. Oh, he's so nice. I hope he has nothing to do with it. Did I say anything about who has to do with it? Because I honestly don't remember. Wait, let me go back. I want to talk to my friends. Sorry. I have a phone card that apparently has, like, endless, like, calling, um, some things to it. Um, fuck, I don't know. See, I have an issue right now. So what the, the, the issue is, is just so y'all know, um, I had planned a, a trip for myself back when I was, like, semi-unemployed. 
this was like, y'all, I had a hell of a year like work-wise, but this is back when I technically had a job, but I wasn't getting paid for it. But like I was still going in someplace every single day, but not getting paid for it. It was wild. But anyway, so I planned a trip then. And now the trip is going to be coming up at the end of November and I can't get a refund for the round trip or the first hotel that I booked. Might as well just go to Hungary, honestly. Maybe I should just do that. Anyway, um, what did that have to do with anything? Why did I even bring that up? I don't know. Maybe I'll remember later. Anyway, calling card. Let's call people. Phone is ringing. Phone is ringing. Hello? Hi, Ned. How's it going? Um, good. I better get going. All right. Talk to you later. They should just be happy that I'm, like, calling them so far away. What did I want to talk to them about? Hey, Nance. What's going on? Um. That's it from here. Call us anytime. Ta-ta. Ta-ta. You've reached Alan Payne, who isn't home at the moment, which means you can either leave a message at the beep or call back. Up to you. Fair enough. Okay, well... No, 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 that's not, that's not where I wanted to go. Wait, what did I want to... Hold up, there was something... Um, what did I receive? I got a book. Ancient Celtic Sabbaths. Sabbaths? Sabbaths? Being a short history and description of the four major Sabbaths Compiled together with a diagram of the Ogham alphabet by Thomas R. Ecoloran, Professor of Primitive Irish Studies, Dublin, Ira University Press, 1872. I get my sevens and my fours mixed up all the time. It's so ridiculous. So anytime you see a seven there and I say four first or vice versa, that's what the issue was. Lord in heaven... Ancient Celtic society lived by the celestial. I'm gonna say this again. Hold on. Gone. Ancient Celtic society lived by the celestial skies and the sun, moon, and stars, defined their calendar years and celebrations through the summers and winter solstices were honored. Though, I'm sorry. The four major Sabbath or festivals were the midpoints between solstices and equinox. These four celebrations were Samhain, Imhoek, Beltane, and Lucas, Laknasa. I don't know, but this is the basically like the, the, the little stones that I was dealing with earlier where I had the cheats for it, but I just didn't get to it just yet. Because true writings... No, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Because true writing... Written, written language did not appear in Ireland till the 6th century AD. No Celtic historical texts detailing the celebrations exist. Obviously, I can't do an Irish accent. I'm working on it. For some weird reason, like whenever I'm watching Love Island, um, <laughs> that's my chance. Not my chance, but that's when I literally hear British and Irish and Scottish melted together. And like, I maybe, I maybe, I may be able to do a little bit of like a little blend in between. Like just to hear Ian Sterling's like previously on Love Island, like it gets me going to the point where um, I can get a little bit of that in. Um, but I've actually, for some weird reason, like, I do accents a lot, not, like, as, like, a fun, like, oh, let me make fun of y'all, but, like, it's more of, like, a, I don't know what you guys are like, but, um, I tend to, like, whenever I'm around something or someone long enough, then I start to copy whatever they're saying or how they say in it, and so I, I don't know where Minnesota comes from because I don't know anyone who's from Minnesota, but um, lately I've been doing a lot of Minnesota accents. So I think this is my um, this is my time to be like, okay, I need to watch a lot of Love Island again because I really love that show. The UK one, not any other one, by the way. But um, I think this is just my sign that I need to start watching it again because I really love that show. It's such trash TV. I love it so much. Tommy and Molly Mae just got engaged. I'm so fucking excited. Anyway, let me just keep reading again. I'm so sorry for the really, really bad Irish accent, but there's more coming at you. I never said I'd be good at accents. I am not making fun of Irish folk. I promise. 
I am trying to just work on my accents. I am a, not an actor, but I do act in on the sides. So this is just my way of like, kind of sort of like refreshing it or making it a little bit better. So if I do a shit job, I am so sorry. I am working on it. I promise this is not to make fun of y'all. This is just me attempting to, like, this is just me, one, having fun, and two, just, 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 just working on it and hoping that I do a good enough job so that I can put it on resume. Anyway, so, 